Hey guys, this is Simon from Fateless. Yes, you might know me as Hell Hades. And yes, this is probably the most insane video we've done yet on this channel. So let me take you through the journey a little bit. We had about five months of pre-production. Okay, five months where we were sorting out things like our art Bible, our tech Bible, designing all of the game features. You know, what do we want to have in at launch? What do we think is going to be live ops? And start to go through all of those different elements. How many heroes do we want in game? What what was the game based upon? Uh, and actually that pre-production went on about an extra month to what we thought it would because we made that switch between uh, thinking we're going to work with a large IP to actually build in our own IP, which uh, has turned out to be one of the best decisions I think we've ever made or so far on this journey. We then got into production and over the last 10 weeks, we've just hit our first milestone and we've actually got a playable game. It's so exciting. It's super cool. It's a very small element of what the overall game will be. And everything, you know, Fiction or Dan was basically saying, don't do this video, wait, 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 because it's the first element of a game, okay? But I did want to share it because firstly, that's what we're doing. We're sharing with you how this stuff works, how it actually plays through on the journey and, you know, the different iterations that you do. And I just feel like, why the hell not? Don't judge us too harshly, but... Yeah, come along for the ride. The first element I showed you was the white box level. And the white box in was basically us building a prototype just to test some of our systems, just to test some of the math behind our game design. After the white box level, I was then showing you stuff within Unity. So I was booting up Unity myself into the area where the, the devs actually build the game. And I was just kind of like flying through, you know, one of the levels that we had built there, pretty much the, the built version of the white box and showing you some of the different game design elements that we were doing. This video, I'm showing you an actual game. So an executable file that's on my PC right now that I can load up, you know, like you would load any game. So let's see this bad boy load up. All of the UI, everything about this right now is placeholder. None of this is the actual game. So what we've got here is we've got the actual playable, like I guess level, campaign level, and then we've got the champion preview screen. I just, from what you've seen so far, I just want to show you like the difference in quality that we're now getting from, you know, the visuals, uh, the different characters we've got currently in game. So you can see here Odin. I think this might be the first time I'm showing Odin actually. Like the level now has gone up a tier. Okay. We've now got uh, some ability to kind of like zoom in and out, but we want a bit more. But you can start to get a feel for the quality that's going into the character design, the champ design here. And, and we've also got, you know, some of their different animations, abilities, that type of stuff, which we will see in game. Some of it is is not finished, i.e. that one is not finished. Um, some of them actually are animations that we built for other characters that we're just putting into, into design here. But, you know, if he dies, down he goes. Um, there's, there's all these different things that we can do, but Ultimately, we're now able to see our different characters in game and they're looking, I think, really cool. There's a few that you've seen from a while back, like Brazilian Archer here. Just like good levels of quality. Obviously, all the backgrounds and stuff are not done. There's loads that's not done. <laughs> but again, we can just see some of her animations, um, you know, some of the basic stuff that we've got done, and we're moving along. Konichi here. It's just a whole bunch. Leonidas is probably like our poster boy at the moment just because we've seen him kind of built from ground up with different videos. So you start to now get a bit of a, a flavor of how good he is looking with like the scars on his chest and stuff. Just awesome work. Like it's honestly, when I when I got the build, I was just like, yes, yes. We're now getting to that point where it feels like we've got something that's growing. You know, we're, we're kind of getting the hype. If I put a screenshot now on social media, people are all over it. Um, I will say, don't forget to sub to this channel. Don't forget to join the Discord because it's really helping us uh, keep this momentum going, I would say. Um, this guy dies, he drops his weapons and goes down. Oh, nice. I actually hadn't seen this one yet. Ooh. Different animations. Some of it's still a little bit jank, you know. Uh, well. That's not his animation. Why is his sword floating around? All of that stuff obviously needs to be fixed, but um, it is very cool to, to start to have this level of quality. I guess 
Some of these are still in T-pose as well, so you're not seeing like them with their weapons yet. That's coming soon. But look at the quality. Look at it. It's so good. It's actually really freaking good. Sashi here. So you haven't seen before. This is going to be my little sneak peek for this video, I guess. Brynhild. Brunhild. Again, she's T-posing it right now, but she's looking pretty damn sweet. Look at the look at the detail in the hair. Look at it. So good. It's actually so good. You just gotta say, like Andre, who who built this one in 3D, phenomenal work. Really, really nice. And obviously we've got our weaponry and stuff that's coming soon as well. But and things like little facial expression, obviously not doing the solid kind of T-pose. All of that helps to sell the the kind of quality. Look at the difference when someone's actually kind of like animated with. Uh, a pose and stuff like that and got their weapon in hand it it just creates a different type of feel to the, the the champion so yeah we're starting to get there we've got a playable game let me show you an actual element of gameplay so here we are in game as i say all of the ui is not done none of it's done it's literally just placeholder stuff right now uh, and there's a bunch of stuff graphically that we need to fix all that sort of stuff but i thought i still want to show you this yeah this is this is kind of like White box into Unity into an XE, our first one. And this is our uncommon build and it's pre alpha. Okay. So we're not even to a point yet that we're, where we would call this alpha. Yeah. Just looking at our timelines here. So we did kind of pre production up until January. We've then done our first milestone, which is this build, which was a 10 week process. So you had five two week sprints getting to this point. Uh, we then basically move into, and this was our uncommon build. Okay. Uh, the rare build will be kind of like coming through May through August. And we're hoping to get some alpha play out of the rare build. And then basically we're hoping to be in beta from around September to actually like showcase stuff, get people from the community trying the game, trying different elements of it, giving us feedback, that type of stuff. So all of these, these dates are, are kind of up in the air, obviously, but that's the type of plan. And the beta we expect to be on our epic build you know, being able to actually test different elements of the game. So there's a lot still to come. And as I say, all of this, just take it with a pinch of salt, but you kind of, we've got an auto feature. It works. We've got two times speed. It works. None of the animations are right. <laughs> Bear that in mind. But you do actually start to get some attacks going off. We've got debuffs in the game, which work. Um, so all of the kind of like back of house engine stuff is happening, which is such a major part of the build, honestly. None of the visuals in terms of buffs and stuff are on yet. Um, but, you know, if I was to just kind of like choose an ability like this one. Like, it, it feels like we're in the game. Yeah, and that's, for me, what's most important here. And I'm going to die too early. I need to turn God mode on, I think. Uh, but, you know, we're able to kind of like work our way through waves. The maps make some sense. Um, our buffs are working like he just counter attack there because he's got counter attack up. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's, that's kind of like not animated properly because we've not focused on that side of things. But the stuff we have focused on is working. Sometimes people die and then they die again. Uh, you know, there's weird stuff like that going on, but that's all all bug testing. That for me, honestly, is it's kind of like I'm not even fussed about it. What I am fussed about is the fact that we've got a game that we could kind of, oh man, lost. Uh, <laughs> Get good, get good. Uh, that, that we could actually play test and start to test things like, uh, you know, whether the champions we're building are actually OP or they're of the right sort of level. Um, you know, do the animations start to look cool, which will happen over the next uh, over the next build, really. And yeah, there's a whole bunch more that we can then get involved with. Okay, and then we come to the kind of like final part of our test level. Yeah, they're dragging the dead along with them. There's a bunch of stuff that's that's janky. Yes, the dragon's too small for the environment, we've realized, and the the visual is not right. Like, so there's a whole bunch of stuff we've realized already, but, you know, we do have a kind of movable camera. We can zoom out. I can't zoom in as much as I want to. Um, we do have an enemy boss, which is just a kind of like placeholder boss uh, for now, but... You know, it, it kind of just slow it down, put auto on. It does play as a game. And we've got some form of animations from the boss. Not quite right, obviously. But you can kind of get a vibe of, at least you can understand what we're trying to achieve within the game engine. And uh, I'm super proud. Like, even at this stage, 
The guys at Magic Media have done a phenomenal job, honestly, of getting us to Milestone 1 and delivering on a whole bunch of the stuff that we, we wanted to test. So we're able to do that. You know, getting the, the kind of like character viewer to a point where you know, we're really getting some sweet visuals for people to, to get a sense of what we're trying to achieve with this game um, is brilliant. And yeah, I just got to say, like, to both the Fateless crew and the Magic Media crew, it's been an awesome 10 weeks. Yeah, tons of work has gone into this. Um, and we've really now kind of like found our feet and we're starting to crank stuff out at a rapid pace. Uh, and what that means is we're, we're on track. Yeah, so we're on track to deliver on the timeframes that we want to deliver. We've got a whole kind of like feature list ready to go. Hopefully you've been checking out the podcast because in those we talked about some of the features that we're, we're looking to build. But yeah, it's happening, guys. And uh, I've got to say, I'm super proud. So let me know what you think down below and I will see you in the next one.